Governor Leo Hoig has requested a voluntary reduction in speed from 50 miles per hour by night and 60 miles per hour by day over the Labor Day weekend. This voluntary limitation will be in effect from 6 p.m. Friday, September 2nd to midnight Monday, September 5th. We believe that wholehearted cooperation by all Iowans will prevent accidents and save lives. The highway re Patrol reports indicate that speed too great for the existing conditions figures in almost every accident. Over the 4th of July weekend, only one fatality occurred after the motoring public was asked to reduce speed. We do not think that this was mere happenstance. Proof that positive steps are necessary is already in the record. Eight persons died on Iowa's highways yesterday. How many more will die before midnight September 5th is up to you, the driver. Please help us to help you to put a stop to this senseless waste of human life and property. Frank, the National Safety Council is predicting that there will be eight deaths on Iowa's, highway, Iowa's highways this weekend. Have you any suggestions for the Iowa motorist uh, which will reduce this toll? Yes, I have, Commissioner. I think if we can get our Iowa drivers to hold down their speed and start early so they won't need to hurry, if they will signal their intentions to turn far enough in advance so that the driver behind them will not be caught napping, if they will stay in their own lane and never pass unless they have plenty of room to spare, and keep plenty of distance between their car and the car ahead, and expect the car ahead to do the unexpected, and uh, don't drive while they're drinking, I think we can reduce that commission. Dave, what's the patrol going to do to help this cause? Well, Commissioner, we're going to be out in full force. All days off have been canceled over this Labor Day weekend. And again, we're going to use the planes and helicopters. We're going to have 10 planes and helicopters to cover uh, our state and give us the air support that we had over the 4th of July weekend. With your help, we can have a safe holiday weekend in Iowa. into alleged communist infiltration and espionage. Mm. Mr. Tito, did you ever work for General Electric Company? Yes, sir. Over to Mr. Roy Cohen, the Chief Counsel of the Commission. All that. We used to exchange information. Lynn and Schenectady at the Pittsburgh office. Uh, Bill, will you tell us approximately when you joined the Communist Party? 1941 and 1942. And will you tell us uh, what your reasons were for joining the party? I volunteered as an informant for the FBI. Was it before or after you had uh, discussed the matter with members of the Federal Bureau of Investigation that you joined the party? It was after I had discussed it with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I joined the Communist Party. At the hearing this morning, did you identify any persons as being members of the Communist Party? Yes, sir. Mr. Goodwin and Mr. Mills. I identify as being members of the Communist Party. In view of the testimony under oath today, before the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, of the Senate Committee on Government Operations that you are a communist and your failure to avail yourself of the opportunity offered to deny this testimony, you are hereby suspended from the employment of the General Electric Company pending our further investigation and determination.
Walter, you are the new manager of the Dodgers. And say, I knew that hat looks great. I guess it fits pretty good, Mr. Malley. It fits pretty good, and you're going to fit pretty good, too. Walter, you're going to have a nice group of athletes to work with. We have fine boys on our club, and they're out to win every single game. And they all know that our real ambition is to win a World Series. This is my first opportunity to manage a major league ball club, and I can't think of a better ball club to start out with than the Brooklyn Dodgers. The Dodgers have a great ball club, and I certainly appreciate the opportunity that has been given me to manage this Brooklyn team.
At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the Air Force releases details on how a lightning-fast IBM computer maintains range safety during missile firing. As the missile rises from its launching pad, a complex system of telemetering devices and radar tracks the missile from the Florida coast and downrange island stations across the full width of the South Atlantic. This information is fed directly into an IBM 704 computer, which 10 times a second pinpoints visually where the missile would fall if its power were to fail at that instant. This missile is running into mechanical trouble. As it starts to go off course, the range safety officer does two things. He checks to be sure the debris will fall in a safe area. Then he presses the button marked, destruct. Electronic computers accelerate man's reflexes and let him deal safely with the powerful vehicles of the space age. 